It's the semi-finals at the Internazionale. BNL d'Italia and the two players who have dominated at this event in the last nine years against two of the brightest stars on the ATP World Tour, hoping to upset the odds and reach their first Rome final. First up, Novak Djokovic faced Mios Reinich for the first time at a regular tour event. The Canadian hoped to reach his second Masters 1000 final, with Djokovic looking for his fifth in Rome. In a cat and mouse opening set, Djokovic could find no way through Reinich's brutal serve. Oh, how well he did! He knew Djokovic was going to pose him a serious test there, and Reinich, that was outstanding. Djokovic saved a set point to force a tie-break, which he led three love. But Reinic won six points in a row to reach set point once more. How's that for poise under pressure? The two-time champion was unable to save the set, but in the opening game of the second, he finally made inroads on the Reinic serve for the seventh time of asking. Djokovic makes a breakthrough. Reinic broke straight back to get back on serve, and a second tiebreak was needed. This time, Djokovic made no mistake to level. Oh, he's fired up. He plays one of the best points he's played in a while. The world number two took command of the decider, breaking again in the opening game. Got him with the one-two pass again. And he finally had the answers to the big Reinich weapon as the Canadian served to stay in the match. Djokovic moves into a 29th Masters 1000 final. But boy, has he had to work hard this week. It was a very tight match. I'm just uh, happy to, to manage to, to, to come back and, uh, and, and play well when I need to. As Djokovic prepared for his 29th Masters final, Rafa Nadal hoped to reach his 40th by overcoming the youngest player in the world's top 20, Grigor Dimitrov. Nadal is unbeaten in four previous clashes with Dimitrov and he made the perfect start to the evening match. This is a very fast start from the man in your picture. Nadal has endured nearly nine hours of tennis in the three longest matches in Rome this week, but at just 33 minutes, this was his easiest opening set of the tournament. Uh, this was a great shot here from Nadal, had to make the adjustment, but Dimitrov snuck here. I'm not going to miss out there. The Bulgarian has recorded a set in each of their previous meetings and he worked hard to keep in touch after going down another early break. But Nadal has won 50 consecutive semi-finals on clay and after securing the double break from the out of sorts Dimitrov, there was only ever going to be one winner. Oh, sensational. Everything comes into play, the strings, the mechanics of the stroke. Such an athletic event that Nadal completed his first straight sets win of the week to set up a 13th encounter with Djokovic as the two top players in the world. The seven-time champion in Rome will get a shot at number eight. No trouble today whatsoever. It's a big challenge play against Novak always. Um, if you want to beat him, you need to, to play at, at your limit, at your best, and that's all the way to have any chance, and that's what they want to try tomorrow. For the tenth year in a row, the name of Djokovic or Nadal will be etched onto the trophy on Sunday. But with 40 meetings already between them, who will win the title in Rome? The top two players in the world will go head to head in the Italian capital. This is such an exciting contest. It does not get any better than that.